game, really eager to try and force this print right away. Doesn't warn him for his trouble, but he seems to really want to break this fight tight. Going for that outside reach, Kenzie comes almost all the way around, but can't quite clear his opponent's leg. Kenzie still has his by guard. He can do a lot from there. Turn into a full guard like he just did. And Yamaji is trained uh, by Henzo Gracie, who is here tonight. Uh, quite a pro getting him in the cage. Henzo, a great MMA fighter, one of the all-time greats. And now, as we mentioned leading up to this, uh, this isn't the only Henzo Gracie versus uh, Lincoln Gold team uh, matchup that we got. Our main event also going to feature those two champs, and the last name Gracie. Absolutely, and uh, Gold Team fighter, uh, Gold Team USA, Gold Team Poland, great camp run by George Makako Patino, uh, excellent fighter himself, legendary fighter, and uh, this this is this is quite a rivalry between these two teams. Oh, you hear a lot of leather coming oh. in. Nice game. Yamaji, Yamaji raining out the blows right in front of us. We hear them oh. thudding on Lincoln's face, but Lincoln's tough. He didn't even blink on that one. So you're looking, Lady, he was fighting right back. Something you don't often expect to see from the bottom, especially at that kind of force. Not sure if he was able to do as much, but we'll see now. Well, you know, excellent uh, points scored by the Magic, but Lincoln looked very comfortable off his back. And the action literally inches from our face. Uh, oh, oh Magic's so quick. Up the pressure here, Magic. Wants to keep this tight, wants to keep it close, but not above flurrying to just try and get in. Now, back to the center of the cage. Inside leg kick by Yamaji. Spinning, spinning kick by Yamaji. Lincoln comes back with a right hand of his own. Displaying a little stand-up prowess now. Now, if you look at the few stand-up exchanges in the past series, the way he's actually gotten the better of the more accurate shots, they just don't last too long because if Yamaji's coming in, he's coming in hard, he's going to force that clinch. Yamaji's got him pushed against the table. He was thinking about the takedown, but starts landing some bombs. Uh, now Yamaji seems to be turning around with the striking. He's oh, hard. He seems to have dropped him. He drops Linky. Dropped him. He's coming in hard. This might be it, but Lincoln's still fighting back. Manages to get that guard. Wants to slow it down a little bit, get where he needs to recover. Lincoln doing a great job of composing himself down there. Um, right now, there is some blood above his eye with a lump, so he definitely got tanned by Yamaji. And Yamaji trying to get that mount, trying to pass that half guard. So composed by Lincoln, though. In the face of really what could have been a really dangerous situation for him, he managed to know exactly when to fight back and then when to lock up. But you have to think right now, you might have got to be ahead of time. Both men heavily tattooed with plastic sleeves. And you might be fighting in that composition, but Lincoln reverses. Like he's going to pass instead, get swept. First time that Lincoln's on the type this fight. Let's see what he can do with it. And Yamaji looks like he's got a bad cut. Seen a lot of blood on him. I originally thought that it was from the cut on Lincoln, but it seems to be worse on Yamaji. It's probably his own cut. Right, it looks like uh, either they're both he's throwing up his legs. We can't quite get anything done. He's just going to get past here. Now it's Lincoln dominating, landing some shots. Man, what a back and forth battle this has been. but also knowing exactly when to burst and when to relax. You see a lot of discipline here for both fighters. Well, great first round. I mean, a lot of action. The crowd is into it. Uh, Linky checking his own cut, and in the corner, they'll be able to clean him up. But it looks like both men have suffered cuts right now. Uh, blood right in the beginning. Normally a good sign for people who like a lot of action. Here comes Dr. Sherry Walken. Excellent position. She won the 2009... AAPRP, which is the American Association of 
professional ringside position. She won their position of the year award uh, in 2009. Not to be confused with AARP, by the way. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Wolf is a great uh, doctor. Dr. Eric Worms here is also another staple down here at the Jersey Fights. I mean, just uh, these doctors just, they love the sport, and you can just watch the, work, the intensity that they watch these fights with is amazing. Safety first here in the state of New Jersey. We got an ambulance out back. And these guys are trying to put each other in. New Jersey known for having great medical staff at these events, and it may very well be necessary tonight. And here we get set for round number two. They come out swinging. Roger wow, really likes working against that fence. Outside group work for him in the first round. We can't seem to get a job now. Now dropping down. He goes to take down. Gets it. Linka covering up down there. Right in half guard, but Linka actually uh, good use of the hips by Linka. Able to get the guard briefly, uh, but Gamachi passed. Gamachi got that knee in there, and he just knew it was a matter of time before he could slide it through, and uh, Linky would use it to just lose guard. And now Gamachi inside control, throwing some shots. Those elbows, it doesn't look like he got a lot of leverage on them, but if you really listen to the way they impact, quite powerful. And now from mount, he can do a lot more damage. Tough position for Linka. Bad position. He's got to move right now or it's going to get stopped. It is stopped. This fight is over. The crowd is loving this. Yamaji with the TKO. Can you tell that Enzo Gracie's team came out in force right here? What a finish! What a finish! Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is stopped at one minute and one second of the second round. Your winner by TKO due to unanswered strikes from the red corner, Feisty.